Hello, Zardy Hardy here. Today I'm gonna show you how to create your own seven days to die dedicated server on the latest version that is uh, alpha 21. So let's do it. Subscribe. First, we need to download the latest version of seven days to die. I mean the alpha 21. So uh, we need to go to the Steam library, then right click at seven days to die uh, game, uh, click at properties. And here we need to click at betas. Uh, we can see this uh, window, beta participation, uh, we need to click at none, uh, scroll down and uh, click at latest experiment and stable build. Uh, click at this build and uh, now we can see that in our library 7 days uh, to die has latest experimental um, prefix, right? Or suffix, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, we need to install this game. Uh, if you already had uh, uh, this game installed and you need to install it again because uh, it's a new version and you need to download it again. So uh, let's just wait for a minute. All right, I've downloaded uh, the Alpha 21. Now we need to download the um, server on the latest build. So let's do it. In the Steam library, we need to type seven days to die. And here in tools, we can see that we have seven days to die dedicated server. If you don't see it, uh, you need to go to the Steam library and here at uh, games and software, we can choose different checkboxes. We need to click at tools. All right, let's install seven days to die server. We need to type in the Steam library seven days. And here we can see seven days to die dedicated server. Uh, we need to right click at this icon and click at properties. Here we need to do the same thing. Uh, choose the latest experiment build. And here we need to install the dedicated server. All right, I've downloaded the dedicated server of seven days to die. So we need to look up the config file. Let's do it. Um, just type seven days. And um, we need to click at uh, seven days to die dedicated server properties. And um, we need to go to the files. To do it, we need to click at install files and browse. Here we need to uh, find the file called server config and open it. All right, we can use uh, uh, just notepad or we can use uh, notepad plus plus. That's more convenient tool. So here we can change some settings, for example, a server name, if you wanna change it, uh, we can change something like my server sdtd server description, our uh, re region, uh, here you can scroll down to the right and uh, see uh, the options. All right, I'll set many settings by default. We don't need to change it, but we need to change this one property that called user data folder and save game folder. That's the settings for our game's um, files. Uh, for example, if you turn your server on, then you need to save the data that you played. Uh, you play, then you have some result and you want to save it, right? And so to do it, we need to um, we need to paste the directory uh, to the link where the data will be saved. So to do it, we need to create a new folder. Let's name it save. Let's open it and copy the directory. Uh, here in absolutely path uh, section, we need to paste this link and uh, save the file. To do it, we need to click on file and save or control or command S. All right, here we also have many different settings. If you wanna change it, you can change it, but I don't need it. So after we set up our server, we need to launch it. So let's do it. Click at yes, and the server has launched. So we need to wait. By the way, we have some installants with uh, Microsoft files. Uh, waiting for 10 seconds. Let's just press the key and uh, the console will pop up. So 
that's good for us because the server is loading and it means that we um, did it right. We did everything right and uh, we need to open our game. The server uh, has loaded and now we need to join the game. So let's click at this button. We need to type a name of the server like I typed it before. Uh, my uh, one second, how did I name? How did I name it? My server sdtb, and uh, just click at start. No, I don't have it. Europe, South America. Oh, I don't remember these settings. Let's uh, just check it. Region: North American East. Yep. It was Europe, so and now it works. Perfect, we can connect to our game. We have some problems to connect uh, to our server, so we can solve it by uh, trying to connect it. Could not retrieve server information. Fuck this game, yeah. Uh, we can try to connect to IP, connect. Uh, password, I don't have any password. Could not retrieve server information. So if we have this problem, we can try to solve it by uh, click at connect to IP and here click at connect. Here uh, I don't have any password for this server, so I can just connect. And here is it, it's loading. But if you have the problem after you did this uh, thing, so you need to go to Google and try to Google it initialization world so like you see i've connected to my new server on alpha 21 and it's super cool we can play on the latest build of this game so i hope this video helps you subscribe to my channel to see more helpful videos about seven days to die and many other games like how to boot your fps or uh, many other topics well you will see it goodbye